So that concludes the French uh, turn. So now it's the Allied turn. So I rolled for both of them. Uh, the uh, British have uh, three movement points, as do the Prussians. So let's take a look here and see what the Prussians want to do. They need to kind of get out of harm's way, if at all possible. So probably um, they could either concentrate here at Namur uh, which is going to take a little while for the French to get to and so maybe they could keep retreating back up that way um, or they could try to move here towards uh, Haute au Mont so we'll try that uh, the idea being we don't want to get too far away from the uh, our British allies so there's one movement point for them and one movement point for them and then these guys here uh, we'll spend one movement point to get them over there and see how that works. Meanwhile, the uh, British want to concentrate where they can be helpful. So we'll have Wellington bring the reserve forward to Waterloo. Uh, the cavalry will come forward. That's one, two movement points. So they're there. So that's just one movement point. For the cavalry, one movement point for the reserve. Uh, and then what do we want to do here? These guys need to do something. The second corps is not in the best of positions. Um, let's let's move them. Let's move them this way. Let's see if we can get them to at least, if they're attacked, they can get some reinforcements potentially. So that's it for the allies. Um, now we don't have any combat for them. Um, and so then at the end of that phase, we're just going to advance to turn number two and see what we get next. All right, so we're at the beginning of the second turn. We have clear weather. I rolled for the uh, Allies. Uh, the British got four points to move, as did the uh, Prussians and the French have six movement points. So let's start off with the French and um, let's see, we wanna keep the pressure up maybe on the Prussians. So we could try to do what we've done before. Let's move the uh, Imperial Guard and Third Corps up here to Ligny, as well as Napoleon. Um, so that's one, two. We'll move the cavalry here to uh, Ligny as well. That's three. Um, now we could try to attack here, Namur, and, and try to do the same thing with Napoleon there. Um, that might be a good idea. Then we can bring those guys up. So that's one, two, three movement points, four, five, and we could then move maybe the uh, second core here, six. So kind of seeing if we can hold the center center ground. All right, time for our combat over All right, here. So looking at our cards here, the uh, French have got two combined armed cards, a counterattack, two cavalry charges, and a skirmish card. While the uh, Prussians have got a cavalry charge, combined arms, and a grand battery. So let's do our combat and see what we get. So the uh, French are going to play the uh, cavalry charge. Um, the idea being if the Prussians kind of chicken out and run away, they'll take an extra point of damage. Now for the Prussians, 
um, they're looking at a challenging situation where uh, they're probably going to take, if they stick around, um, they'll probably take quite a bit of damage anyway. So once again, it might be best just to let the French win the first round and then be able to uh, retire up the road. So this is what they're going to do. So they will not, uh, well, uh, it is a bit of a mess. Uh, either way, they're going to they're they're going to get hurt. So they will uh, uh, they will uh, uh, retire and not fight back. And as a result, they're going to lose uh, two. Uh, one for the uh, uh, not matching the French, a second one for uh, not defending against the cavalry charge, and then a third one for retreating up the road. So that is the third core. One, two, three. So they are down to nine. So they got away, but uh, they're taking a beating. And this is kind of how it works. It's you're not going to be able to wipe out a core um, with each with each uh, combat. Now at this point, the French are in pretty good shape. The uh, Prussians, um, you know, could try to move and attack. I don't know that that would make sense, um, but we'll see. So we're done with combat. Done with the French. Time for the Allies to do something. All right, so it's time for the Allies to do their movement, and uh, they've got a couple of choices. They could head towards Vavra, the idea being to uh, kind of concentrate with Wellington, or they can move here to Hanut and uh, work on connecting with Blucher. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to move this way. Um, and so that's one, two, three movement points, and then the uh, fourth core is going to move, and then Blucher can can ride like the wind and join his guys over there. Meanwhile, the English are going to uh, work on their own concentration. So these guys can move there. That's not a problem. These guys can move here. So now we've got a fair amount of stuff that's within easy reach. We can move the reserve forward. So that's one, two, three. And the cavalry and Wellington can move up too. So we've got a fair amount of stuff there. Uh, maybe we can put a little pressure on the uh, French so they don't get too crazy. And maybe catch some of these core that are... Uh, drifting around out there. Mm -hmm. 